Let's say you're asked to design Instagram. How would you serve the images? Let's go over some standard practices to do this. So let's say you have a mobile app and it serves images. So let's look at where these images are stored and how they're served. So this is the internet. And then let's say in your backend, you have an image table. This is inside your database. And the image table has the images metadata. So an image ID, a URL, likes, and the owner. Now this URL is typically the location in which the actual image is stored. So this is just the image metadata. The actual image is typically stored in an object store. So let's create an object store here. So the object store is just a mapping from ID to the actual image that's here. So the image is gonna be the image file. So let's say you have three to one, you have the file that is the image. Now, typically you don't wanna store the actual image file or video files inside the database because databases are really meant for metadata and they're not meant for large amounts of data, right? They're not meant for like blocks or objects. Object stores are specialized for that. So an example of an object store would be like Amazon S3. Whereas the database, an example of that would be Amazon's RDS. So what happens when the app asks for an image? So the app will probably have some kind of API like get feed and your application logic, which will reside somewhere here, will probably return a list of image IDs. So at this point, your app will have a list of image IDs. For example, it will have one, two, three, three, two, four. These are image IDs. So the app now knows that it has to load these images. Now, along with the image IDs, the app server will also send the actual URL of the image, right? The ID is not enough for the app to load the image. The app needs the URL. And the URL is a URL of this object store. So let's say the ID is three, two, one. An example of the URL that this object store will generate will be something like, uh, you know, s3.amazon.com slash ID slash three, two, one, right? So these two are same URLs. So the app gets this URL, right? So it gets a list of URLs. So the app now knows which URLs to fetch the image from, and it can directly ask the object store for those images. And the object store will just return the image files back to the app. Now, this is a very standard pattern. You don't store actual images inside the database. You just store the URLs of the images, and then the app can itself load the images.